So guys, I'd like to introduce the BlackBerry Bull 9900, 9930. Uh, so the 9900 is the HSPA Plus uh, capable uh, device. The 9930 is a CDMA with global roaming capability on bands one and eight, uh, also for HSPA Plus. Um, so the, you see here, it looks like the iconic BlackBerry uh, device. It's got a full uh, QWERTY keyboard, uh, uh, with a, a full touchscreen 2.8 touchscreen device. So if you look at the side of the device, you've got a full metal frame around, so it's a beautiful device. Um, one of the key things here, if you look at the side, this is the thinnest BlackBerry yet at 10.5 uh, millimeters uh, in thickness. The device dimensions, most of the people will be pretty familiar, it's the same dimensions as the original Bold 9000 device, um, but the thickness uh, has been reduced significantly to 10.5 millimeters. Um, with with the, uh, the on this keypad that we've got here, it's actually six percent larger than the Bold 9000, so it's a lovely keyboard to type on. It just feels great. The responsiveness is there, and coupled with the full touchscreen on this device, it really makes this device uh, a communications and a productivity uh, powerhouse. Just the efficiency of, of being able to type on the keypad, for example, to search for something on your device. You know, if you go type marketing as an example, you'll see the search results show up, and uh, we've got that's one of the key features. In, in the OS 7, which is which is on the uh, on these devices, is we've expanded that uh, the search capability. If you notice in the top in the top right uh, of the device, there's a, a, a voice activated universal search capability. So you can either search by typing on the device, or you can search by speaking into the device. So as an example here, I'll show you. We've, we've typed in marketing. We have a, a document in our documents to go uh, suite, which the full version is is a part of the base uh, base software in, in OS. 7. Seven. So here we can open up an Excel sheet. You've got full uh, viewing and editing capability uh, on the device for Excel sheets. Can you pinch to zoom on that? Yes, you can pinch to zoom on that. I'll just open it back up. So you can you can zoom in and you can scroll around and you can see we can you know if you wanted to uh, if you wanted to change something on there you can put it into edit mode and then you can go in and change something and then uh, you know save save your changes. So a lot of functionality out of the box in this in this application. Um, so just going back and touching really on the the, uh, the hardware a bit. Uh, so as, as I mentioned, it's a 2.8 capacitive touch uh, screen. Uh, the resolution uh, is 640 by 480. So on this screen delivers delivers 287 DP, uh, PPI uh, for the screen. So it's a beautiful screen, uh, very vivid, colorful, 16 million color display. So, uh, from a hardware perspective, we've got a 1.2 gigahertz processor uh, on the device with the GPU, and uh, in OS 7, we're taking advantage of, of this uh, the increased hardware in these devices uh, to to deliver uh, significant improvement from a graphics perspective. So we have what we're calling liquid graphics capability, which uh, essentially what we've what we've done is we've got hardware and software guys together and rewrote the graphics pipeline uh, in the OS to take advantage of the GPU. So you can see as on uh, you know, panning through the, the panes on the home screen, it's very fluid, very, uh, you know, very, very fluid. Let's go back, just look, trying to load a web page. Uh, very fluid, you know, if you go down to your managed connections pane, the, uh, the whole experience has been, uh, has been improved significant, significantly in, uh, in OS 7. So the other thing that's been improved in, in OS 7 is, uh, is the browser. So we've improved the rendering speeds um, for the device in terms of the browser. I'll just uh, exit out here so we can go back in. Can you load in gadget.com? Um, we can try it on here. It'd be lovely, thanks. The speaker's actually pretty fantastic. Oops. Where is that? The bottom? Yeah. There's a number of different colors, actually. Is that... We do. Maybe I misspelled it here. E-N-G. So we have NSC support. E-N and gadget. So the word is E-N and then the next word gadget. Like that? E-N-G-A. I can't read it from here. Smart tag. Yep. Smart tag. So how we're going is that your mobile site? Yeah. Okay. The very bottom of it, and then there's a full desktop option there. Thank you. So it's quite neat. Oh, maybe I hit the. Uh... And that'll be the benchmark right there. If you can load this in about one minute or less, you're good. <laughs> if not, you're not good.
Oh, you're on the spot. So we are on, uh, yes, we're on the spot <laughs> doing it. Do you want to scroll down maybe trying some pinch? Yeah, screen? we'll just wait until it loads here because I don't want to... Well, but that's just, are you timing it? That's actually the test. The test that's is you need test. to be able to scroll and zoom while it's loading. Yes. So just to keep in mind, this this is running beta software. So, you know, as you can see, it's quite far along. We've done, uh, so I'll do some pinching and zooming here. You can see it's very fluid, very very nice experience on the full. Thank you for hearing me. So just some other... Uh, Features the new. Uh, this is the new browser in in, uh, in OS 7. Um, so we loaded the ngadget.com page on here. So just some other things uh, from a device perspective. Uh, maybe I'll talk about some of these sensors that are on the device. So we have uh, an accelerometer and a magnetometer, a digital compass. So uh, those two sensors on this device are really uh, all around uh, augmented reality, enabling augmented reality applications for third-party developers. So those capabilities are are there in terms of of accessing those sensors. The other capability that the 9900 and 9930 support is NFC, so I'll give a bit of a demo in terms of what we support from an NFC perspective in, uh, in OS 7. So here's just like a sample uh, uh, smart poster tag, an NFC smart tag. And so the, the use case here would be you'd have this poster up in a store or something, and the user would come along and they would bring their... Uh, Bring their device, and they would, you know, pair, you know, tap, tap it against the device. And this one, in this case here, it brings up uh, a web link for VLingo, where the user could go and actually view. It could be, you know, any types of, of types of applications from a, you know, a marketing perspective. So you're not tagging or scanning the barcode. Uh, no, this is actually not scanning the barcode. This is actually reading. There's an NFC tag on the back of this, so it's actually reading the NFC with the NFC capability on the device. Uh, it reads the information on this tag and displays it to the user. In this particular application, what it's giving is, is a URL link that the user can click through too. The other capability that we support in OS 7 is with uh, with pairing with BlackBerry accessories. So our Bluetooth devices will come with uh, with an NFC, will be NFC enabled so that you'll get the instruction manual as an example in the, in the box. And instead of going through the normal Bluetooth pairing, you pull something out very similar to this. You'd, you'd uh, bring it under the device, tap it, and uh, it would it would uh, complete the pairing process for uh, for those accessories to that device. So In really, it's making um, the, the end user's experience a lot simpler. That, that's right, exactly. It's all about making it simpler. So those are the capabilities from an NFC perspective um, that uh, that we're doing. What are the sensors on there? So the sensors that we've got on the device, we have a magnetometer. Uh, and an accelerometer. What's magnetometer? It's a digital compass. So it's a dig digital compass uh, on this, um, on the device, and uh, and uh, as well as the uh, accelerometer, coupled with the NFC capability as well. So I, I, maybe I'll just get run through a couple of the other things. Uh, one thing I do want uh, want to point out, and I'll just do it using our universal search. So we'll do a search for PDFs on the device. So with documents to go, we've got. Uh, a native PDF uh, viewer on the dot on the device, so I can go into a PDF. We'll load the PDF. You know, very fast rendering. I can do pinch to zoom in this application as well. You know, scroll. So it's uh, it's a full integrated experience for uh, for PDF viewing, native PDF viewing now on the device. Uh, some of the other cool things in uh, in OS 7 that uh, that we've got are uh, the uh, integrated music store uh, application. So just to, again, to show you the native uh, integrated search capability, we'll do a search for, say, Lady Gaga. If I can uh, get card typing on an angle here. And one of the search results is music store. So if I launch that up, launches the uh, integrated music store, does a search for Lady Gaga. You know, I can see the songs. Let's say, um, you know, Poker Face. I want to preview the song. So you get a 30 second preview of the song. And uh, oops, if you uh, when you go in and if you download any of those applications and go into the music store, it will uh, it will show you you know playlists from the Amazon MP3 store. So anything that you download. Uh, all of those downloads are DRM free. Uh, they get fully integrated into the music uh, application so you can access them immediately. Uh, and then maybe we'll just go back into the store and just show some. So you can, uh, I entered this by doing a search initially, um, but if I go 
on the main screen you get you know your top songs you get your top albums new songs new albums you know you can browse by genre etc and you can scroll through and and you know do the previews and download your songs and when you do download the songs they go right into your uh, into your music library so a really great fully integrated experience from a music store uh, perspective so how about the social networking so yeah that's a good good thing to, to show so what I'll show first is of all Facebook uh, already native in this yeah so face Facebook is on here so I'll show the social feeds uh, application here so you can see it's uh, you know we've expanded the social feeds application to provide more more integration I can show here we've got Facebook logged in so I can go and see anything from the uh, from the Facebook you know showing any of the postings and uh, Twitter you know if I go here it launches the the Facebook application so this is the showing the new Facebook 2.0 uh, application which is currently uh, currently in beta uh, so this is a you know improved uh, Facebook experience and I think one of the key things in this in this is you have chat capability uh, okay. on here so um, you know you can you know, if you go online with this device the real differentiator on our Facebook application is that uh, it, it, uh, it utilizes the push notification so when you sign in with chat on Facebook and then exit out of the application or go and do something else you will get your chat notifications to get pushed to the device through the push notifications and you can uh, you'll get that in your messages list and you can go in and it'll launch back into the chat application so really really good integrated experience um, for for Facebook users so and then I'll show uh, the Twitter application so Twitter here go back so this is already a Twitter. So yeah, so we've just got a demo account here showing, you know, just some. So you can see here the li liquid graphics capabilities really allows, you know, fluid, fast scrolling, you know, in, in all of the applications on the device. Um, you know, I won't really spend a lot of time going through the, the Twitter application that most people are are familiar with, uh, you know, with with that. Right. You know, we can see the, you know, the the capabilities on uh, the liquid graphics. Just scrolling through contacts. You know, it's. Uh,